Why are people arguing about flat earth and spherical earth space? What's the fucking point? None of us can go up there and look. We all know NASA's lying to us. All they feed us is CGI. You're not allowed to go to Antarctica. Unless it's for a scientific mission or unless you go to like Penguin Island or something like you're not allowed to actually travel there fly over it nothing anything that they're trying to tell us we're not allowed to do which is ridiculous because we're allowed do whatever we want it's the government i.e. mind controllers who put out all these messages and use these fear tactics to make you think that you're not allowed to do stuff to the point now where they got you afraid to defend yourself if someone breaks into your home because they might sue you like seriously the only way to figure out what's really going on is if everybody gets together uses their money and puts it you know to something that we can use to propel us upwards. Then we can have a look. And not like that GoPro attached to that rocket. As soon as that got up high enough and then reached whatever, I don't think it hit the dome. It seems more like it reached an area where either it ran out of gas or it reached an area where the it was so dense or there was so little air or whatever is high up we don't know what's there but something stopped it that doesn't mean there's a dome it doesn't mean there's not a dome but it's simply not enough evidence to go on to say there is a dome the Bible was fabricated it's a, a bunch of writings put in there and then it was changed over the years over the centuries and then you get the King David's Bible Jesus has been so different since then Imagine what the original Bible, if there ever was one, was before King David. Just think about it. So all your references to that are, are mute, are moot, whatever, however you say it. The articulation of that word is not important to my point. The fact is, there's no point in squabbling over things that we can't prove. That's like people who are left or right or democrat or republican or liberal or pc it's ridiculous they're all puppets playing the same game the reason why they have all these different parties is to see make it seem like there's the illusion of choice now i know you've heard that all before if you listen to david ike or anybody else but it seems like it's not registering in your cranium because you're too distracted at sports stadiums and if Supposed terrorists have uranium. That's why meditation is so important. Gives you time to just download. Gives you time to be silent and just analyze things a bit clearer. Get away from all this noise, this Wi-Fi, this radio, TV, music. Etc. I don't need to ramble on. What people aren't understanding is that there is so many agendas, and one of them is to segregate everybody. And they will do that by using the media and all of their scientific institutions and education systems. To indoctrinate you into believing so and then because through repetition you believe this is so and you use this as your current knowledge when someone comes to you and says something that opposes your common knowledge then what kicks in is something called cognitive dissonance where your brain just totally rejects anything they're saying whether it's real or not whether it has fact or not sometimes that works sometimes it don't you know, they say it's linked to the 
the reptile mind, you know, the in between the left and the right brains, you know, your creative mind, your logic mind. Anyways, the point of it is, all this bickering is useless. We should be coming together. Just like all the ingredients that made this wonderful mixture. <laughs>